Hey guys, this is your friend Mainak from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our channel and another video on Tecla Structures. So friends, in today's video, we'll show you how to use the copy and move commands effectively and smartly in the Tecla Structure software. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So in the previous video, we had made our columns up to the plinth level. Let's just make the columns further and we'll use copy and move to complete our model smartly. So we'll go to concrete and we'll just select the column. So after selecting the column, we'll take the same size as we had taken in the plinth level up to the plinth level, that is 215 to 250. We'll change this type of concrete grade to M20 because we are selecting this grade for the entire structure. So now in the this option is very important because you need to make this bottom the same as the plinth level, that is 1200, and the top to the same as our the level of our ground floor slab so if you want to check what is the height of it you can i can show you just click on escape and then click on this grid so after you click on this grid you can see the levels zero is our foundation level 1200 is our plinth level and 4200 is our first level so the floor to floor height for the ground floor is 4200 4, minus 1200 that is your 3000 so the column height will be 3000 so we are inserting the columns so taking the columns again so now as you can see the bottom is your print level and the top is your ground floor slab level so after that we can simply insert our columns so please note that this is the uh, view of the print level if you want to get this view you can uh, open it from the view list option and you can open the required view which you want so we'll further add our columns we'll click on columns and now we'll add the further columns so after selecting the columns we need to insert our beams which we can copy so how to do that let's see we'll just close this as we don't require this and now we will go to windows and view list and then we'll open let's say we'll open grid 2 you can take the grid 2 let's take the grid 2 option we'll click on ok after that we'll go to window and then tile vertically and after that we'll select this particular beam as you can see three beams have been selected we'll press ctrl and select the remaining beam from our 3d view and then we'll go to edit so we'll click on copy and then we'll select the top point as you can see the pink one is in this line and the yellow one is in the backwards line so we'll select the pink one if you if you select the uh, yellow one it won't happen so you need to select the pink one that is in this line so we'll select this as our source point and we can select this particular point as our destination point so we'll expand this because the structure has been modified so as you can see we have copied our beams from the plinth level to the top level so if you want you can also copy it along with the reinforcement so this is some smart tricks in which you can use the copy command similarly you can use the move command so friends i hope that you found this video useful for more such videos stay tuned to our channel and if you want professional training from us you can contact us in the number which has been given below bye bye